At this time, I should like to call another witness. Call the witness. Lady Helen Dearden. Silence. Silence in the court. Silence. My lord, Lady Dearden knows nothing of this case. I beg to disagree with my learned friend, my lord. I think we shall find that Lady Dearden knows a great deal about this case. But my lord, Lady Dearden is my wife. Lady Dearden at the moment is a witness. Yes, my lord. Administer the oath. What is your name? Helen Dudley Dearden. Helen Dudley Dearden. Take the book in your right hand. The evidence which you will give to the court shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Kiss the book. Lady dear, you are the wife of the counsel for the crown in this case, are you not? Yes. Have you any idea why you've been called as a witness today? I think I have. Were you in Dover on the afternoon of May the 14th last? Yes, I was. And while you were there, did you make a trip to the summit of one of the Dover Cliffs, the one known as Sunset View? Yes. Silence! Silence! What time did you arrive at Sunset View? At precisely 1.30. And what time did you leave? About five minutes later. Five minutes later? Yes. Why did you go there, Lady Dearden? Everyone has heard of the wonderful view from there. Oh, yes, of course. But you saw all that you wanted to see in five minutes. The view didn't come up to your expectations, I take it. I object, my lord. Counsel for the defense seeks to insinuate there might have been something strange about Lady Dearden's visit to Sunset View. Such insinuation was absurd and unfounded. Thousands of tourists visit this cliff yearly. Medford and his wife were two of those thousands, my lord. The accused has testified that he and Mrs. Medford went there on a holiday to see the view. The Crown has persistently scoffed at such an explanation. It's been suggested that Mitford's trip to such an out-of-the-way place as Sunset View was a singularly sinister and most uncommon expedition. The objection before the court, Mr. Wilson, is to your insinuation that there was something strange about Lady Dearden's visit to Sunset View on May the 14th last. I no longer insinuate, my lord. The defense maintains that Lady Dearden's five-minute visit to Sunset View was most unusual. And subsequent events bear us out in our contention. Until a minute ago, the Crown placed but two people at the scene of the tragedy. Now there are three.